The result, therefore, of our present inquiry is that we find no vestige of a beginning, no prospect of an end. This place is the most important outcrop in establishing the concept of geological time, and I'm going to tell you why. I can't see I'm freaking because the wind's blowing this way my hair is like getting in so now I'm going to have to tie it up See this line here in between these two rock types? Do you want to know what that is? I'm going to tell you That's known as an unconformity and in this case it's known as Hutton's unconformity It's Sicker Point located on the east side of Scotland right close to the borders Now this is a gap in time between two different rock types. Below me, we've got our grey wacky, which originally was deposited as muds, sandy muds, and we had deep ocean known as the Iapetus Ocean, right? And above me, we have our old red sandstone group, which was originally deposited in a desert arid like environment. And in between, we have this line. Now, this line is 65 million years worth of time that's missing from the geological record. So, originally, these deposited as mudstones, they all kind of got squeezed and pushed during that Caledonian erosion a wee bit, right? They were scraped up and they had an accretion and they prism, which folded them and left us with this vertical kind of view today. There's massive folds in these rocks, right? They've then been eroded and brought up to the surface through uplift. And you've had the deposition of the sandstone and conglomerates on top, that part of your old red sandstone group, right? Deposited by fluvial systems running through an arid, semi-arid environment, okay? Like the desert today. So, there's a gap in time here, a 65 billion years, and you can touch that gap in time, and it's proper madness to think that that is 65 billion years worth of time. Now, the person who discovered this was known as James Hutton. James Hutton came here and seen the difference in the rocks. He's seen the verticalness of the rocks below me and the horizontalness of the rocks above, and questioned it and said, this must take billions of years. The earth cannot be 4,000 years old. Now back in 1788, they used the Bible as a reference to how old the earth was. They thought, right, it must be 4,000 years old and all the sedimentary rocks are laid down by one event, a big flood. No, that wasn't the case. We now know today, due to this discovery by James Hutton, that is definitely not the case. The earth is 4.54 billion years old. This is just a minuscule section of it, found here at Sickers Point, at Hutton's Unconformity. Because he questioned this, it opened everything else up. Darwin was then able to fit in all life into a little bit of time. That he, he was like, you know, how am I going to fit 4,000 years worth? Like all these animals at the 4,000 years and stuff, but it was they weren't, right? And James Hutton changed that just by coming here and looking at the rocks and questioning and saying, well, this can't take 4,000 years to form. This must take billions of years to form. And that's what he did. They changed basically the history of science he was able to say and change people's thoughts on how the earth formed and how the earth is today and it's absolutely madness to think that I'm sitting directly on top of my conformity here in Scotland. Now Scotland is known as, it's, you know, the birth of geology and people forget that and it's mad because we're so lucky to have what we have here and just people could just come and walk over it and just not even realise it, right? Proper man. Yeah.